Welcome parents and teachers. As promised, today I will be covering the partial products strategy. With the partial product strategy, you may see some similarities to the traditional algorithm that we used growing up. However, it's important to keep in mind that the traditional algorithm is not taught to students until the fifth grade. You will be able to see how the two strategies are alike and helps to prepare students for using the traditional algorithm. Let's begin using the partial product strategy by solving this problem, 36 times four. After lining up my numbers vertically, I will begin by multiplying the four by the six in the ones place. As we can see here, it's important that you write out your multiplication off to the side, showing that you multiplied four times six. Our product 24, we write underneath the other numbers. We will do the same with the three. It is important to remember that since the three is in the tens place, I am actually multiplying four times 30, which gives me 120. Now I'm ready to add the partial products. And my total is 144. So then I know that 36 times four is 144. Let's continue by trying another problem. In this problem, we have a three digit number by a one digit number. So let's set it up by first lining it up vertically. Now I am ready to multiply the five by the value of each digit on the top starting with five times six. The product of five times six is 30. And now I am ready to multiply five times the two in the tens place. Keeping in mind that part of the partial product strategy requires you to show your work off to the side. So I have five times two tens, which is 20. It is important to remember that since the two is in the tens place, we have to represent its value. A common mistake is for students to write simply a two. However, emphasizing that the two is in the tens place gives the reminder that the value of the two is 20. So five times 20 is 100. Now we're ready to move on to the hundreds place. Since the four is in the hundreds place, we are actually multiplying five times 400, which gives us the product 2000. We're ready to add. After adding my partial products, I have 2130 as the answer. Therefore, I know that 426 times five equals 2130. Now we're ready to multiply a four digit number by a one digit number. To start, let's line the numbers up vertically, multiplying the three by each digit above, starting with the ones place. We have three times eight equals 24. Ready to move on to the tens place. Keeping in mind that since the five is in the tens place, we must multiply three times 50 which gives us 150. Moving on to the hundreds place, we multiply three times 300, which gives us 900. Finally, we multiply the thousands place. Three times the one in the thousands place gives us 3000. Now we're ready to add. Notice how all of the numbers are lined up according to place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands are lined up in their appropriate column. The last step is to add up all of the partial products, and we end up with 4,074. Therefore, we know that 1,358 times three equals 4,074. All right, parents, now that's a wrap. I hope that wasn't too bad for you. As mentioned before, the partial product strategy is very similar to the traditional strategy. So hopefully this helps you to help your child with multiplication. Oh yes, and in case you forget or need a little reminder, here's a helpful review sheet. Feel free to reach out to me for your free copy. And don't forget to look out. Next week, I will be covering two by two multiplication using the area model 
or Boxmith. To stay in the loop, don't forget to click the notification bell. Until next time, take care.